let's understand with uh, some step that you will have to remember and by same using that step you have to solve the example so let us con consider second order linear homogeneous differential equation this p0 of x y double s plus p1 of x y s plus p2 of x y is equal to 0 say equation number one okay this kind of equation is given now here you should not divide by this you have, you have just checked that x is equal to x0 and in our case we have always this value is 0 okay in this syllabus so if x is equal to this x0 is an ordinary point of equation 1 then the trial solution is y is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity a n x minus x0 equal to, to n if this x0 is 0 then this become y is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity a n x raised to n okay that we have to compulsory remember okay i am just explaining this method that's why i am using uh, this x is equal to x 0 okay uh, now we will differentiate this y with respect to x two times because we need this y dash and y double dash and this is our trial solution we are just taking this solution as a trial okay and we have this y here so we will find y dash that means sigma as it is a n as it is and one power forward and power minus okay but if we put n is equal to 0 here so this term becomes 0 so we will start sigma n is equal to 1 so you have to remember this thing that in y dash we will start with n is equal to 1 in y double dash we will start with n is equal to 2 because we have one more derivative that n minus 2 forward n 1 power minus n minus 2 so if you put n is equal to 1 also this becomes 0 so for n is equal to 0 and n is equal to 1 uh, this term becomes 0 so we we'll start with n is equal to 2 that this is the fixed that you have to use in, in each and every example but as i told we have x 0 is 0 compulsory so this becomes 0 0 and 0 so we have x is to n x is to n minus 1 and x is to n minus 2 in example so this is our first step that first step write down the trial solution second step we have to just put this value y y dash and y double dash in equation number one okay so substitute the value of y y dash and y double dash in equation one then second this is our second step okay this is our second step we have to just remember five to six step so first step write down the trial solution second step substitute all these value in equation number one third step we have to just simplify okay we have to just simplify and fourth step is fourth step make power of x equal because we have x 0 is 0 so make power of x equal okay this is our fourth step third step is simplification after substitute this value okay and fifth step is make limit of sigma equal make limit of sigma equal right now you just remember this step then how to apply we will learn in example okay so first step is trial solution second step is substitute all these value y y dash y double dash in equation number one third step third step is simplification and fourth step is make power of x equal make power of x equal fourth step fifth step is make limit of sigma equal then after uh, making limit of sigma equal collect collect the power, like power of x because we have this is equal to zero so collect the like power of x then equating to zero the coefficient of various power of x because we have this zero and find the value of a2 a3 a4 and so on in terms of a0 and a1 in some example we have only in terms of a0 now after getting all this value just substitute all this value in equation number two that means in trial solution and we will get the final series solution of equation number one okay this is the step okay that we have to remember okay again first step is trial solution second step substitute in equation number one third step is simplify fourth step is make power of x equal fifth step is make limit of sigma equal sixth step is collect collect the like power of x and seventh step is equating to zero the various power of coefficient of x and coefficient of various power of x okay and then just simplification two three step these are the our step of example okay that you have to remember now we will understand this 
with one example so you can understand better so we have example solve the Lysander equation x minus 1 minus x whole square 1 minus x square by double dash minus 2x by dash plus n into n plus 1 by is equal to 0 for n is equal to 0 by power series method okay whenever it is uh, given that by power series method or series find series solution in that case you have to use this method this chapters method okay otherwise it is asked solve only not power series it is not asked power series then you have to use that hod higher order differential equation that chapter okay but here it is mentioned that power series method or in series solution okay or near ordinary point so now as i told we have to compulsory check x is equal to zero is ordinary point or uh, singular point that is our first task okay so for that i am just giving you a shortcut that you have to check only that the coefficient of y double dash coefficient of y double dash becomes zero at this point at x is equal to zero then x is equal to zero is a singular point if y coefficient of y double dash becomes zero at x is equal to zero then this point is singular point and the coefficient of y double dash is not equal to zero coefficient of y double dash is not equal to zero for x is equal to zero then x equal to zero is an ordinary point so we have to just check that coefficient of y double dash should not be zero okay for x is equal to zero ordinary point so here if you put x is equal to zero one minus zero become one that is non-zero so uh, here x is equal to zero is an ordinary point this is shortcut method okay so i'm just writing down this equation and for this we have to find the series solution for n is equal to zero so we will put zero so we have this term zero so remaining term is one minus x square into y double dash minus 2xy dash is equal to zero this is our equation number one now as i told it is clearly that x is equal to zero is an ordinary point because our coefficient of y double dash is non-zero by putting this value by putting this x is equal to zero okay and we have to compulsory use x is equal to zero only ready now as i told we have to follow the, that particular seven or eight steps okay so first step is trial solution so we'll write down the trial solution same to same no change in the trial solution in each and every example so in each and every example of ordinary point near x is equal to zero you have to just write down this first step as it is okay because we have x is equal to zero x zero zero so x is to n x is to n minus one x is to n minus two and sigma running from n is equal to zero n is equal to one n is equal to two and we have the derivative of this term is this and derivative of this is we have this Okay, so we have to write down trial solution now we'll substitute the value of y dash and y double dash in equation number one here and here okay so one minus x square as it is value of y double dash is this sigma this entire value now minus 2x as it is and value of y dash is this entire value okay and is equal to zero as it is so we will put this value so we have one minus x square as it is this is the value of y double dash minus 2x as it is this is the value of y dash to understand better this example this is simple example so easy but for that you have to use not and pen and with me we have to just write down this value by pausing the video okay so you will understand better so this is our second step substitute okay now we have third step as i told simplification what is the meaning of simplification that you have to multiply this one with this entire sigma so 1 into sigma is as it is and minus x square into this sigma so x square multiply with this x square x raised to n minus 2 and we know that if base is same addition of power that means n minus 2 plus 2 2 to cancel so we have x raised to n similar way we will multiply this with this sigma so 2 goes with the constant and x goes with the x so we have x raised to n minus 1 and plus 1 because here x raised to 1 so 1 1 cancel and we have x is to n okay so we have this step 1 multiply with this is this and x square multiply with this as i told we have x is to n okay and sigma n is equal to 2 n is equal to as it is now we will multiply this 2x in uh, inside this sigma so we have minus 2 here with an and x goes with this x so x is to n 
okay so this is our third step simplification okay this is our third step simplification i'm just copying all this so this is our third step so first step is trial solution second step is substitute third step is simplification now fourth step as i told make power of x equal so here you can see uh, here x raised to n minus 2 in first term in second term we have x raised to n and in third term we have x raised to n so these are same so now we will try to make this power n minus 2 into n so we want to make n minus 2 to n okay so what we will put here instead of n so we can cancel these two so we can put n plus 2 so 2 2 will be cancelled out so we have n so we will replace n by n plus 2 in first term only not in second and third because we have second and third term has access to n as it is so you can make any of the power but here we have access to n is as it is equal. we have uh, two term with access to n so we will change only first term if we have only one term access to n then we can change or we can change these two term in access to n minus 2 also so which power you want that is up to you but I am just making easy for that I am just changing in first term only so replace n by n plus 2 in first term only so this n become n plus 2 is equal to 2 2 to cancel so n starting from 0 this n become n plus 2 this become n plus 2 this become n plus 2 minus 1 that is n plus 1 and this become n plus 2 2 to cancel so x is to n so we have this that n is equal to 0 this become 0 because of uh, n plus 2 this a n become a n plus 2 this n become n plus 2 and this n plus minus 1 become n plus 1 and this x is to n minus 2 become x is to n and this step as it is and this step is also as it is okay so this is our fourth step make power of x equal so now you can see we have x raised to n x raised to n x raised to n in all these three term okay now fifth term is make limit of sigma equal make limit of sigma equal here sigma starting from 0 here sigma starting from 2 and here sigma starting from 1 so we will make equal to sigma, sigma limit of sigma equal we will go with the maximum number so we have maximum n is equal to 2 so we will put n is equal to 0 and 1 in this term and then sigma we can start from n is equal to 2 so we will put n is equal to 0 first time then a plus sigma that means plus we will put n is equal to 1 and plus we will start with n is equal to 2 so we have this if we put n is equal to 0 so a2 this 2 this 1 you can see and x is to 0 is 1 so no need to write down plus if we put n is equal to 1 so 3 3 2 and x is to 1 you can see and we will start this entire term with n is equal to 2 you can see okay so uh, here n is equal to 2 is maximum so we will try to make each and every term uh, with n is equal to 2 now this term is as it is because we have n is equal to 2 so as it is and now this is n is equal to 1 so we will put n is equal to 1 so we can start from n is equal to 2 so put n is equal to 1 so 2 a1 1 x is to 1 2 a1 again yeah, that was got minus as it is now minus we will start this with n is equal to 2 same to same term with start n is equal to 2 because we, put, we already put n is equal to 1 okay so this is our you can see now you can observe that all the limit of sigma equal okay so this is our fifth step so first step, first step was trial solution second substitute in equation number one third simplify that means uh, expand this bracket with the sigma okay fourth step make power of x equal by replacing some term okay fifth step is make limit of sigma equal make limit of sigma equal so for that we have to put the value of n okay and we will reach up to maximum n which is already in this step okay so this is our fifth step where we made already limit of sigma equal now collect collect the like power so we have this is the constant term only and we have this two term this with x and this also is with x as to 1 so we we'll collect these two terms together and remaining all the terms number 1 this term we have sigma and x as to n same this term similar way sigma and x as to n is same similar way we have sigma and x as to n same ok 
Okay. So we'll take this three term together. So by collect, that means we have six step by collect constant term, term with x and term with sigma and x is to an outside and remaining three term here. Okay. So this is our six step collect the like power of x. Now seven step is equating to zero the coefficient of various power of x. Just follow this step only. So it will make so easy for you. So now equating the coefficient of various power of x. So this is the coefficient of x is to zero. So we will equate this equal to zero. This is the coefficient of x is to one. So we will take this equal to zero. And this is the coefficient. This is the coefficient of x is to n. So we take this equal to zero. So we have first two a two is equal to zero. So a two is equal to zero. We get the one value. Similarly, we have six a three minus two a one is equal to zero. So if we will make uh, this subject, we have to make uh, the term subject which with greater value of a. That means a three is greater than a one. Don't do not consider this six and two. Do not consider the coefficient. Just see this a three is greater than a one. So we will make a three subject. Okay. So a six a three is equal to two a one. So a three is equal to a one by three. Okay. And third step is this. We'll equate this equal to zero. A n plus two into n plus two n plus one minus a n n n minus one and minus two a n n. So this equal to zero. Now here also we will make larger a for sub coefficient. Okay. Uh, suffix. So we have a n plus two is greater than a n a n. So we'll make this subject. So we'll take this two on the right hand side. Okay. Now we'll take a n common from this two term. So we have a n outside and n n minus one plus two n. Now we'll expand this. So n square minus n plus two n. So n square plus n. We have term. So now by factorizing this, we have n into n plus one. By cancel out this n plus one. And we'll take this on the right hand side. So we have n plus two is equal to this, and this is our recurrence relation. Okay, this so this step gives us a recurrence relation between this a n plus two and a n, and we will start the value of n from where where we stop the sigma last step collecting. Okay, in collecting we have sigma n is equal to two, so we'll start with two. If we have n is equal to zero, then we'll start with zero. Whatever the last step, collecting step, okay. Uh, whatever this sigma starting from n is equal to in collecting step that we will use here. And this is called our reconciliation. Now we will put the value of n is equal to two, n is equal to three, n is equal to four in this recurrence relation. So we will get. So we have this recurrence relation, and we have n. So first for n is equal to two. This a two plus two becomes four. Here two a two and two plus is four. Now we know that we already find that value of a two is zero. So this become entire zero. So we have a four is equal to zero. Now we will put n is equal to three. So three plus two is five. This is three. This is a three. A three plus two is five. Now what is the value of a three? So we know that a three value is a one by three. Already we find. So by cancel out these three three, we have a one by five. Value of a five. Similarly, we put n is equal to four, so we will get a four here six four a four by six, and a four is zero. A four is zero, so this term is also zero. Now we will put n is equal to five, so five plus two is seven. This is five a five five plus two is seven. Now we have value of a five is this a one by five, so we will put here. By cancel out this five, we have a one by seven, and so on. So, so we will put only three or four value, or if we have complication, then we will put only two values. No, not, not, no need to put each and every values, okay? Because we have ten running from two, three, four up to infinite. That's why. So we'll write this side down, so on. Now we will put this value of a two was zero, a three was a one by three, a four, a five, a six, a seven. All this value in equation number two. Okay, equation number two. That means in trial solution. This is our trial solution. We'll expand this by putting the value of n is equal to zero, one, two, three. This, and now we'll put the value. So we have a zero as it is, a one x as it is. Now we know the value of a two is zero, a three is a one by three, a four is zero, a five is a one by five, 
a6 is 0, a7 is a1 by 7 and so on. Now we will take common from this term, so a1, 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 a1 common and a0 is only single, so we will take a1 common, so we have this is our power series solution. You can see we have the solution in series form, power series, x is to 1, 3, 5, 7 and this is our final general solution and where this a0 and a1 are arbitrary constant. Okay, so similar way we have this example, you have to just try with that same step, first step trial solution, second substitute in equation number 1, the value of y, y dash and y double dash, whichever we required, third is simplification, fourth make power of x equal, fifth uh, make limit of sigma equal, sixth collect same power, seventh equating to zero the various coefficient of various power of x, and then we will get the recurrence relation and in that recurrence relation we will put the value of n n is equal to starting from where we stop in the collecting step okay so we will start with that n and we will get the value of a2 a3 a4 or a1 a2 a3 a4 in terms of a0 and a1 and we will put all this value in trial solution and we will get the final power series solution okay this is the your entire example so Please try to solve this four example. This will help you in next lecture because in next lecture I am not explaining each and every step because in next method also you have to follow this step only but with some little bit changes okay but steps will be same that's why I am just giving this method in uh, this solution solution near ordinary point okay so thank you for watching this video we will see you soon with next video.